Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of What the Phil. So in this episode of What the Fill, episode two, we are going to talk about fraction fills. What are fraction fills? Well, fraction fills are probably the most important and most commonly used type of fill in the genre that I play in, which is metalcore. You can find examples of different fraction fills throughout just about every single one of my covers. Why is a fraction fill referred to as a fraction fill? Don't worry, it has nothing to do with math. It simply has to do with the way a fraction looks, the way it is arranged. In a fraction, the top number is referred to as the numerator, that number for us is going to represent the amount of strokes on our hands. The bottom number is the denominator, and that number will represent the amount of strokes on your feet. So if the top number is 2 and the bottom number is 4, well that just means 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm sure after explaining that to you, a light bulb went off for a lot of you and you know now exactly what I'm talking about and exactly how often we see these. A band that really, really loved Fraction Fills and sort of popularized it back in the day at the beginning sort of roots of metalcore was Woe Is Me. They loved this type of fill and we saw Fraction Fills throughout a lot of their early tracks. Now that you get what fraction fills are, let's get you learning a couple of them. For this week, I'm going to teach you two different fills that are fraction fills. Fraction fills will come up in future videos for sure, so this will not be the only episode on fraction fills. The two that I'm going to take you through for this video, the first one I wrote myself real quick just sitting at the kit. There's nothing really special about it. It's just something that for a basic beginner sort of starting off at the kit, just learning this type of fill, this is going to help you get into the world of fraction fills, into the world of metalcore. It is very straightforward, very simple. Here it is performed for you right now. Cool, so now that you've seen me play it at the full kit, I'm gonna take you through the sticking real quick here. So throughout the entire fill, the actual sticking is just right, left, right, left, wherever you go, whether it's on your feet, whether it's on your hands. The fraction in this fill, the reason why it's called the fraction fill is because we're going one, two on the hands and then one, two on the feet. So the numerator is two, the denominator is two, two over two. The first part of the fill looks like this. So that's all it is, super basic, just right, left, right, left. And then repeat that, so one more time looks like this. And then after that, the second half of the fill looks like this. We're going to go right, left on the floor tom, right, left on the kick, right, left on the snare drum, right, left on the kick, and then unison stroke out. So sped up a little bit, just freehand with no click, looks like this. Right, left, right, left, and that's the sticking. Now that you've seen it performed, now that I've taken you through the sticking, we're now going to get into playing along together. The tempo in which you saw me perform this fill, the full tempo that I've assigned to the fill, I went with 200 beats per minute, so that's what we're gonna work you up to in this first section of the video. To do that, we'll start really, really slow, really in control at 100 beats per minute. Here is What the Fill, episode two, fill number one, performed at 100 beats per minute, for you to play along to right now. Hopefully you were able to get that. If you are very fresh to the drums and that was a little bit challenging, I encourage you just to go back to the timestamp on your screen now. That'll take you back to the start of that section. You can keep skipping back to that and just sort of repeat that over and over until you get it down at 100 beats per minute. For all of those of you that found fill one way too easy, that's no problem. I have a, another fill lined up for the more advanced players that is sure to challenge you. It's in the second part of this video and the timestamp to skip to that is on the screen now so you can do so. And then for all of those of you still watching from where we are, Okay, let's keep moving. So you got through it at 100 beats per minute. Now, we're gonna take it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna roll through it at 130, same exact thing. Here it is, What the Fill, episode two, fill one, at 130 beats per minute for you to play along to right now.
coming off of 130, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. We're trying to get to 200, that's the goal, so we'll take it up. Now we're gonna go back through at 160, here we go. Great, so coming off 160, now we're gonna make the jump up to 200, which is the full speed of the fill. For any of those of you that didn't really get 160, had a tough time, uh, as I already mentioned earlier in this video, I encourage you, please, just skip back and rewatch those sections over and over until you've got those down. I'm sure you will have it in no time and be up to 200. All that being said, here we go, for you to play along to. What the Fill, episode two, fill number one, perform now. Great, so there we go. That was your introduction to a very, very basic fraction fill. Welcome to section two of this video where we are going to break down a fill from one of my latest covers. The fill we're going to be running through, breaking down and learning is the transition fill in the third chorus of The Price of Agony by Fit for a King. This is my second most recent cover. This is the most difficult, most challenging and longest fill in the cover. When I learned this fill and I made that cover, I knew right away that that fill was going to make it into a episode and a lot of you requested it for this episode of What the Fill. So here we go, let's get to it. Here it is performed for you now. So this next fill, definitely a little bit more complicated, no big deal, nothing we can't handle. Most of this fill is a fraction fill with four over two. So we're gonna be playing a group of four with our hands, then we're gonna be playing a group of two with the feet. I'm gonna roll through it sort of group by group here as we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is four on the rack tom, four on the floor tom. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So now after that, we're gonna put two on the kick. Now we've sort of completed the first four over two. So it was four on the floor tom and then two on the kick. Now we're gonna do another four on the hands and then two more on the kick. So the next four is gonna look like this. It's gonna be right, left, right, left. So to put all that together so far, we have four on the rack, four on the floor, two on the feet, and now four on the hands. All of that a little bit faster. Now after that, this group of four here needs a two after it so that the fraction stays the same. So four over two. So right after that, we're gonna do just two more kicks on the feet. So putting it all together. And then after those two kicks, now we're gonna do another four on the hands. This four looks like this. So almost the same as the previous four, but this time around, instead of putting the final note on the floor tom, we're putting the final note on the snare drum. So playing it all the way through up until this point, it's gonna look like this. Cool, now to finish off that last group of four, of course, two on the kick. And then after that, we are actually going to change the pattern. We have completed three four over two sets where we did four on the hands, two on the feet. Now we're going to do a two over two. The placement for this two over two will be super simple. It'll be right, left on the snare, kick, kick. So like this. And now we're gonna go back into another four over two. It's the same one that we saw before where we go. So one, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left. And then following that up, that's the four. Now we gotta do the two. Now we're gonna do another two over two. So following that, it's gonna go. And then we're gonna end with six notes on the snare drum. So the full thing together, we're gonna roll through it here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Kick, kick. One, two, three, four. Kick, kick. One, two, three, four. Kick, kick, one, two, kick, kick, one, two, three, four, kick, kick, one, two, kick, kick, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then symbol to take us out.
Now that you've seen it and we've talked about sticking, let's get into practicing and learning this. I chose the same tempos to roll through as the first section of this video. So we're now gonna go back through that fill at 100 beats per minute. Here it is, What the Fill, episode two, fill number two, performed now. Coming off 100 beats per minute, if you wanna go back and just sort of do that over and over, the timestamp's on the screen for you to jump to now. And moving right along, we're gonna go into the same second tempo as I did with the first section. So the next up is 130 beats per minute, and here we go. Hopefully you've all kept up to speed with me. We're now gonna increase it a little bit further. We're now gonna go up to 160 beats per minute. So we're nearly there at full tempo. I forgot to mention, but the tempo of that guy is 188. So here it is at 160, fill number two, performed for you now. So the final performance is upon us. Here we go, the full tempo of the second fill at 188 beats per minute for you to all play along to right now. Awesome, so that's been it for What The Fill episode two. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have suggestions for how I can change the format to better suit your needs and help you in your own practicing at home, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I do read all the comments and try my best to implement anything that you guys request for future formats, so long as I can do so. One last thing before I close out too, if you want to see future fills in this series that are specific to covers that I've already done or are tracks by other bands that would be cool for me to break down to help you guys learn, please feel feel free to leave all those requests here in the comments of this video. As I prep for episode three, I will refer to those comments and do my best to include as many fills as I can from the comment section of this video. So feel free to leave those requests below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you are notified when episode three drops. If you'd like to connect with me further, you can do so on any of my social media pages. There are links to those on the screen for you now as well as in the description below. The next tutorial video I will be doing outside of my lesson videos will be Feet episode two. So make sure you're subscribed. Thanks so much for checking this out and I will see you all soon with something new.